the spy party booth with Nolan. He's uh, entered himself into a bit of a competition. A tournament. Anyway. A tournament, if you will. And he's about to play some spy party. Yep, after only playing it once. We, we, we talked about it. I played it multiple times. I only played it once. We talked about it on the show last night. Yeah. And But now he's, he's, he's going to do the tournament. He's going to explain the rules a little bit before we film him. Okay. So. Uh, concept is hopefully I'm not up next. Well, just, just explain it real quickly, what the okay. premise is. There's two parties, there's a spy, and there are two people. Uh, a spy. Hey, come over here, come over here real quick. Alright, there's what? There's a, there's a there's, spy and a sniper. There's a spy and a sniper. The sniper's job is just to figure out who the spy is. That's and all and the spy's in a... Where's party? the spy? He's in a, he's in a, a small room. That's okay, okay, sorry. The, uh, the, spy, the spy's in a small room of, I believe, 13 people. And just everyone's walking around, talking, drinking, looking at stuff. And so the spy's job is he has four tasks. He has to switch a statue with a fake one. He has to transfer microfilm from one book to another book that's across on different bookshelves across the party. He has to bug an ambassador and he has to contact a double agent. Okay. Certain things, like when you contact a double agent, the sniper will hear the code word. And so they know you contacted them. So What's the code call, word? Banana bread. Banana bread. It's temporary. And... And so if they see people, if they only, like only two people are talking, they obviously know one of them has to be the spy. And they know two suspects for the uh, double agent. And, and, and the sniper has to look for various tails and yeah, whatnot, tails. right? Like when you go and pick up a book and you transfer the microfilm, you know, you'll reach down and put it in your pocket. Well, that's obviously the spy, then nobody else is going to do that. Um, you can also transfer a book from one shelf to another, but none of the AI is going to do that. That's so another tell. There's various tells. If someone picks up a statue and they switch it with another one, you'll be able to tell. So the whole point is, you know, do it conspicuous, you know, try not to get caught. And try to blend in, too. Like, exactly. if you just go straight for your tasks, they're exactly. probably going to notice you. Sometimes, Sometimes you have to... Sometimes like, get a drink, because, you know, AI uh, yeah, is drinking. Now, you can, you're limited in what you can do when you're drinking. You can only bug the ambassador and... Uh, I noticed you could be drinking facing one direction. If the ambassador is walking by you, behind you, you could still bug them. Provided it's on the left side of you. Oh, As gotcha. You, you can't, like, they can't be, like, walking past this way. You can't, like, do some weird move. All right. And so, yeah. Well, so, so what else can you do if you're running out of time as a spy? As a spy, you can go up to the window and check your watch, and that'll add more time. Unfortunately, when David was playing earlier, that got him caught because he was trying to do that. And if there's only one person, Yeah, I got him. I got him. If there's only one person out the window, Obviously, know who the spy is. All right. So the tournament is a points based. You have to try to complete all four tasks as a spy, yeah. and as a sniper, you're going to want to take out, find who the spy is, and kill him before he completes any of his tasks. Right. All right. So when we when we're back, I guess. We'll see how I do. We'll see how he does. We'll record that. All right. All right. Later. All right, Nolan. Say hello. What are you, sniper or spy? Sniper.
It too for that. <laughs> I was like, yeah. get out of my way, bitch. I'm coming through. I, I thought maybe you were trying to take the shot and you just couldn't hit him. 
I was about to take the shot. So did you thought it was me and you were about I to take the shot? You. Yeah. yeah. Well, because I, I knew I only had you know a few seconds left, and I had the book, and I wasn't sure. Were you suspicious of me before I put the book there? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, you were. There was four people left. Yeah. And I didn't think that that was going to be your last goal. So I think knew that you put the book back, and I was about to bring you, but I didn't know that it was that many. Up, Nolan, and also you suck from the first round. Yeah, that, that was bad. No, I, I only got one point out of the possible four oh, because he did it right at the time. It's just, but if I would have shot, he would have gotten all four points and I would have gotten none. I was like, well, one's better than nothing. Right. So, what, what now? That is such a risky task. Putting the microfilm in without transferring the book? Yeah. When you lined up with the other guy doing the statue, me and Brad look at each other like, oh my god. Like, yeah. Seen you want to switch a statue? No, I didn't. When multiple dudes do stuff together at the same time, it's a little fishy. Yes. When they switch a statue, if they're looking from behind, did you? Do you so do you look at the statue? No. I, I do. I always memorize all the statues. Did you switch a statue? Yeah. Okay. I, I guess that's the very first thing I did. That's why I didn't catch it. We'll be back for round two.